My first trip to Africa, like uh, a few years ago, uh, made me realize how much I wanted to help people that uh, didn't have uh, what I had. Um, like I would like to help people in, uh, like uh, especially kids, you know. Like it makes me so sad that to see that some kids they don't even have the option, you know, to think, oh, I'm gonna play tennis or whatever. So. Uh, and also in the East, like uh, of Europe, uh, in Serbia, Montenegro, Bosnia, Croatia, like we have like so many, it, it's not the only uh, place in the world, but I feel so close to that people, you know, Balkan people, uh, and also to use my whole potential, you know, in uh, every way on court, outside of the court, to help as many people as I can, actually. I started with a friend because we were living in an apartment, so my parents wanted us to, us, my sisters and brother, we are four, uh, to do some sports. So usually I have like uh, two hours of tennis, two hours of fitness in Belgrade uh, with my uh, two coaches, Vladimir and uh, Boris. And uh, what else? And then I, in the afternoon, I do some uh, rehab with the physio and uh, yeah, I rest. I'm working on uh, my health, mostly um, on my body uh, to be able to play many weeks in a row because this year and also, I mean, it's been already five years since uh, I cannot play a whole season. Uh, because uh, I was getting injured a lot, uh, so yeah, sometimes I was unlucky, sometimes uh, I think uh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't work the right way, I mean, you know, it was not good enough for me, so yeah, uh, I think this is like the number one is just to, <laughs> to be healthy and to be able to play. I think I'm pretty aggressive, but I can also adapt to the, I mean, I'm trying to adapt to the opponent's uh, game. Uh, I'm not hitting every ball like full power, like never, this is not my game. But um, I'm just trying to fight on every point and I can mix a lot. Like I can slice, I can spin, I can, yeah, I can change the rhythm. And I think that's, yeah, something that Actually, now many girls are start starting to play like this, but uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm playing with the poor drive Babolat, uh, but it's like, uh, it has a makeup. Uh, it's uh, the racket from 2013, uh, which you cannot just buy, like uh, someone gave it to me. And I play with the uh, Luxilon. Uh, a string and usually the tension is uh, I would say uh, 24 23 and Novak Djokovic he's my number one <laughs> uh, for many reasons first his career and everything and also I think uh, personally I think that he has the biggest heart um, you know, he tried to help players like me, uh, like in, uh, actually he wanted to help during coronavirus, like um, players in top 700 uh, to give some money, also to improve like uh, our tournaments and I mean all the organizations. And also, you know, uh, my, um, I have Serbian blood, you know. So uh, what he means to all Serbia, it's, uh, I mean, I, I'm not sure that someone can understand. Actually, you could maybe, if someone from Kenya would uh, be number one in tennis, I think you could like, yeah, it would be like the same. He's like, uh, you know, it's like he's part of the family of everyone in Serbia. It's weird to say, but it's like this, you know, we're so happy when he wins and we're so sad when he loses, you know. Uh, my brother, he's 14, but after every single match, he's writing to me. Um, especially when I lose, uh, he's like, you know, 
the, he's the, I think, the quickest to send a message. My mom too. Uh, I mean, they're all there for me anyways, in general, my family. So I won a tournament in uh, Italy this year, like a few months ago. And uh, I, so I played two matches of qualies and then I won my five, ma five matches in main draw and I've played against good girls. It was uh, pretty special because I had uh, like uh, tough moments like in the past five years uh, with all the injuries I had. Uh, what I've learned uh, that you can only count on yourself. I think that everything that's beautiful is tough. So um, just to be brave and just keep going, you know. <laughs>